Alright, welcome back to SnowRunner, and as you can see, we are ready to go and set for Drummond Island. So let's get right into it. And let's get to pulling. Now this truck, it's... It still keeps amazing me, I mean. Man, um... I did not expect it to be that good at what it did but yeah it 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 is that good it's simply that good so my purpose for uh this episode is mainly just going to Drummond Island and exploring the heck of it out of it um I'm going to use the Scout 800 to explore the map and this truck will be uh, a mobile base of operations along the map mainly on the solid roads it can go off-road sometimes somewhere but I'm not planning on it because yeah it's heavily loaded with fuel and no all-wheel drive no diff lock uh, it's going to make it quite tough for this truck to operate as it's already bogging down here as you can see that's making it quite tough to operate in other heavy conditions with mud and all that bad stuff even though it keeps going you know it's it's soldiering on but yeah I would prefer uh, not to use this truck in off-road circumstances so I'm going to try not to uh, of course if the scout gets stuck somewhere we'll, we will have to and maybe if we already were able to level up to level 8 I think at least to our next level that's 270 XP that we still need um, if we are able to level up already, then we might be able to get one of the other trucks to join us. Like maybe the Fleet Star or uh, the White Western Star. No, we only have stars as trucks. And it's the Trans Star, and we have the Fleet Star, and the White Western Star. Hmm. I'm sensing a trend. We will be traveling throughout the night, going to Drummond Island, which shouldn't really be a big issue, seeing as our our truck is uh, should be capable enough. And if we need repair points, uh, we have currently what's on the scout, um, and we can also stop by a trailer store somewhere in Drummond Island or right before Drummond Island I think is another trailer store that should be able there I should be able to buy a maintenance trailer if necessary but I don't think I'm going to need it just yet and I'm going to try to avoid buying it anyway because yeah the way this playthrough is set up, um, I'm able to buy it, but I will be able to sell it for half the price. So, if I'm going to sell it anyway, then I might as well just make full use out of it, you know? Just leave it on the map until, until I've used up all the points. But so far, it... Um, because of the weight it's bogging down a bit but it's still just rotten along quite nicely and yeah I'll 
speed up the road the the route going there so I hope to see you guys uh, really really quickly because yeah watching me travel along this road it's there's not going to be anything that's going to really happen you know and even if then I'll bring you back I'll bring it back right away so I'll see you then all right we have been traveling throughout the night and we arrived in Drummond Island so um, yeah it's time to go explore um, I'll be driving along this road to see what's the best way to get to the it's already a task can I get it? I'll go, just go and get it without the trailer. Quickly. Show task, accept, let's go. Mud wrestling. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. That's going to be a task for the Scout 800. You know that, right? Attach. And let's go. Continue to the next one. The next objective. Or location, or wherever I need to unleash my scout vehicle. Uh, let's see. I want that international transtar thing, whatever it is, to be gone. Alright, let's go to the bridge. Is the bridge open? Looks like it. We have used quite a lot of fuel, but we are also carrying quite a lot of fuel, so... Uh, let's pass this bridge, and let's see where to go for a watchtower. my first mud wrestling or mud wrestling <laughs> oh that task is still in my head okay uh my first uh no that's not a mud wrestling road i will just continue up here and here we are going into some low grip environment I hope I will not get stuck here, but it looks fairly solid. And I want to put some extra emphasis on fairly solid. No, oh, we're getting through it. We're getting through it just fine. It looks like we are still... Yeah, we are just trotting along. And that looks like tarmac up ahead. Oh, Alright. Pull it out of the ground. Should be. Dang it. Um, no. Trailer. Can reach that one. That's gonna pull me along. Having a trailer sometimes really helps. <laughs> but only sometimes. Come on. Pull. Get onto the tarmac. Good. Now, we have one that way, so I'm going to park my truck here in the corner in the turn. Like this. Activate the ramp. Stop the engine. And unpack trucks and trailers. Change truck. And get our international scout going. So you are going 
in here going to explore two of that watchtower over there and I am able to do this without all wheel drive so far oh, there I need all wheel drive <laughs> Come on. But you had mud tires. Suitable for this. Oh, I know, I would have been stuck with any other kind of tires already. This would have taken me like six times as much time. Well, maybe not six times, but it would have taken me a lot more time. Alright. She's jumping. Um, oh, that's a maintenance trailer. That's good. That's, that's really good. That means I don't need to buy one, because there's already one here. Um, yeah, I'm going to follow this path. It should lead up to... Don't bump into trees. So this path. No, it's not. Huh? Where is that path? Oh, it's clear of trees right here, so I'm going to just put my... dip my nose in here. That the path. No, it's not. Why am I not finding... Oh, that's the path. Alright. Alright, alright. Sorry. Jeez, man, come on. Alright. Got it. Right here. This is the path. It should lead right up to the watchtower. Um, excuse you. Oh, wait. Yeah, right. Um, what did I do? Why did I do this? Right, you, you. Come on. There we go. This is why I love that autonomous scout winch. There. And flip on the rocks. And these tires are doing a great job. in regards of keeping grip and digging me through the mud well, hopefully uh, they are going to do the same great job right here in this mud bath I'm hoping because otherwise I'm going to be quite uh, screwed don't winch Oh, well, we're moving, I mean, can't complain. Now we're moving a little bit quicker. 
And we're getting through it, so... Yeah, I love the tires. But now I'm not getting through it. Uh, and I'm getting through it again. So it's all about just keep on moving. With these tires. And even if you just get into a lower gear, doesn't matter. You just keep moving. And here we are. So, what did we uncover? The Silent Observer, then Hut, Orchard by the Sea, right next to the truck, and Cousin Cletus, and a standard trailer. Uh huh. Um, yeah, I'm stuck on an island. There's not much on this island, so I'm going back. Before the rain really gets me re really stuck. Just turn it around. And let's move on out of here. This already nearly drained my whole fuel system, or my whole fuel tank, even though my fuel tank is only 72 liters, but it's okay, I mean, we found what we needed to find, maintenance trailer, the lookout tower. And the road back. Is it that way? And we found out that this uh, that this map is uh, a lot harder than the previous two, which we could have expected because Smithfield Dam is already a lot harder than. Uh, and Black River. And this one is even harder. Because there is so much mud. Mud, mud, mud. Get down. Alright, uh, what did I miss? Cousin Cletus. I missed Cousin Cletus, but Cousin Cletus... Uh, Cousin Cletus will save himself. I'm going to go and get forged by the sea. To pick that one up quickly because it's just a swift dip into here. Jesus, it's deep. Pick it up. Hmm, wait. And a cargo ship washed ashore not too far from here. Hypothetically, if my employer was interested in that cargo and would pay you to retrieve it, would that spark your interest? Well, seeing as the payout is not really a lot. Quite a low payout, though. And I need to get a truck with a crane all the way here, and I need to get other stuff here, and, you know... There's a lot of work that comes into it. Then Hut will be along the road. I think Ten Hut is going to be. But I hope not. Am I going to go through this? Yeah. I think Friend Star can take it. Should be able to.
have a little faith in faith in your equipment. There. Turn off all wheel drive. Stop the engine. Refuel. From the fuel tank into the Scout 800. There. And truck. Back trucks and trailers. Start the engine. Activate the ramp. Let's move a little bit more. So, um, yeah, this road looks a lot more suitable. I shouldn't have said anything. Doesn't look as suitable anymore. But I'm still doing it, though. Transstar is still doing it. So there's no complaints there. I think this is the 10 hut. Yeah, this is the 10 hut. Detach. Close functions. And go. Just gonna go in backwards quickly. Truck should be able to do it because it's not really, or it doesn't really look like a whole mud pit. So. And hot. Greetings, I'm Captain Smith from the Army Corp of Engineers. That is fortunately changed. We'd usually use our own guys for this, but I gotta tell you, your bridge prowess is legendary. We've got one that needs help. Can you show us how it's done? Alright. Uh, which one is it? What does it need? Metal beams and a concrete slab. And it's just up the road, all right. That's going to pain. That's going to be a pain. Yes. I am going to take uh, this trailer right, right ahead. Hopefully, it'll. I'll be able to pull it out of here. then see going to see how I'm going to get a concrete slab here um, well we're still moving and there is no broken bridge here but there is a broken bridge if ever I did see one What's this? Oh, that's 10 hut. Okay. So it was just along the road. Um, what's this? That's where I bring the cargo? Yeah, that's where I bring the cargo. Alright. Now I need to find out where to, where to get a concrete slab. Detached trailer. And I get a concrete slab, easily reachable, in Smithville. Because then, we bring another truck here. Fix this bridge and continue. This truck goes so much better without a trailer, you know? <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> uh, basically every truck does better without a trailer, but... 
This one does a lot better. Alright, let's go. Let's put this one along the road here, along the side. So that it's not in the way for our backup truck. Yeah, this should be good. I don't detach. Stop the engine. Uh, what's this task? Does it show anything on the map? No, it does not. Anyway, um, go to the global map. Smithville Dam. Um, quickly, we need something to quickly get some some quick ex some quick XP, you know. All right, let's just get going, and we will see what happens along the way. Going to need concrete slabs. I will see you guys when I reach the warehouse for the concrete slabs. Alright, let's get concrete slabs. And let's get going. Um, yeah, just heading to Drummond. Uh, you've already seen this and I don't think this truck is going to have any issues as well to get through all this all this stuff to, to get to Drummond, so I will see you guys in the other on the other side. All right, there is our mobile base of operations, and here we go past it to go to the bridge to fix it. And there we break our whole suspension and wheel. Uh, yeah, I've done a couple of things like that in the past, or in the in the process of getting here and there we go one bridge is fixed stage is completed stop the engine and then get back to the Transtar to get over that bridge and then we have another bridge with metal beams and concrete blocks that need to be fixed further on First, I want to have this truck passed along this bridge here. Um, excuse you. Wasn't this bridge supposed to be fixed? There we go. Turn around, uh, refuel from the fuel tank, and also I'm gonna change truck. I need you to unpack so that I can change truck to the scouts. Then I can repair from the roof rack to the Fleet Star. Everything that's necessary to the Trend Star, everything that's necessary. And there is nothing necessary for the Scout so that you can be packed again. Uh, refuel from the fuel trailer into myself. Just lowering my weight. And change truck to the Fleet Star. And then we will be off to get the metal beams and the concrete blocks. So I will see you guys at the warehouse. All right, uh, wooden planks, concrete blocks, metal beams is going into the trailer. Then wooden planks, concrete blocks, metal beams. 
So I have to go down the hill. Alright. It's fun. Alright, I will go down the hill then. Detached trailer. Because I'm not gonna do that. The whole drive with the trailer. I don't need the trailer to go down. Alright, I'll see you guys downstairs. Downstairs, down the hill. <laughs> Alright, I swear to god, I'm not trying to break the truck, but... Why is it there? Why not just there? Just put it on the truck, man. Don't put it there, idiot. Right, and we are all set for fixing that bridge. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I had to do it in two parts. Why? I don't know. That's how the game wanted me to do it. So, here we go. Now we got everything. Or, we should have everything. I hope we have everything. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be quite a fiasco. Because now we're extremely heavy. We don't have the... The great tires for this, but... We are just going to try. See what's going to happen. I hope that this will not be too much of a pain in the ass to get there, because... I already hate driving with trailers because they bog you down too much. And they're just Tokyo drifting around behind you. But we'll see what happens uh, along the route, along the way. I'm guessing it's going to be quite a pain in the ass, but I'm hoping it's not. just going to try and bring you guys along with me in real time for this no 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 don't do that don't do that don't. just slowly get back onto a road and back and repack I was going too fast and now the game is punishing me for that. It's okay. Calm down. Stay calm. Stay relaxed. Don't fall off. I you know you don't like me going fast. But I also have to get ready for work later. So... Unpack. Repack. There. Now let me go fast. Alright, let's go fast, because I have more to do today. As I explained in both the previous episodes, I'm a little bit behind on recording and editing, so I need to be a little bit fast with this. Come on, come on, come on. Bog me down too much, come on, man. Give me some slack, okay? Come on, come on. I'm tarmac. Alright, this is where I had both of them. Both the International Transtar and the Scout 800. And now here is the bridge. And that is where the International and Scout 800 are located currently. Come on, pull. And here we go. Cargo management, metal beams, and set concrete blocks. Concrete blocks. Really? Really? Alright, you know what? 
One second. You get out of my face. Then you get out of my face. You get on. Keep calm. Keep calm. Keep calm. Keep calm. This better be a good payout. I swear. Oh, Brock Wooden Planks. 800. 640 XP and 6,000 money. Monetary value, whatever. And we are rank 8. Alright, well, that does it for today's episode because I had to go up and down like 75 times. Um, in the next episode, we will be bringing this truck and that truck back to the, to the garage. And then you're like, but why? But why? Well, very simple. Better tires. For both. Um, so when they're both at the garage, I think I'll do that off camera quickly. And then we will start with, uh, I'll leave the trailer here. So we will start with the Transtar to go back here and then continue our path. Now that we are able to, to continue this way to the port for exploration purposes. And also see how we are going to be able to get here. Which looks like we need to go back. This road. But we will go to the port first. And then we will uncover the rest. So. I hope you guys will have a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.